Today we are going to be listening to the Big Four Guitar Riffs Battle by Miguel Sequeira. And I'm not going to lie, I feel really damn comfy right now. You know what? So do I. These new sweatshirts that we got are absolutely amazing. Nice and warm. Like, this is quality stuff oh, right man. here. Good fabric on the inside, oh, too. Oh, look, a nice hood if I had to. Oh, beautiful, right? Truly. Oh. But you don't forget about our self-promotion. Let's get right into this. I'm son. And I'm father. <laughs> It should have been a couple more. absolutely love that transition. So you could <laughs> totally hear the difference in the two bands already. You know, where Metallica was like, you know, it, this was their later album. And um, it was very, like, smooth riding into the, their riff where Anthrax is just straight power chords. Mm -hmm. It's like, you know, they, they, they just wanted to hit you in the face with music. And every album they ever came out with, it never changed. That was basically the sound. <laughs> They're CEG warriors. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, probably not those notes, but also C E G Warriors. I get it now. I was like, "What the hell is he talking about?" And <laughs> Inside joke. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> F E G. Yeah, F E G. <laughs> That's fun. Megadeth got like no time. <laughs> well, if you know about <laughs> Megadeth, Megadeth's sound is very, very, very intricate. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Very technical. Like they, he's, you know, Dave Mustaine was like probably one of the best metal guitarists out there as far as, uh, you know, being great. <laughs> you know, yeah, I mean? yeah. Very technical guitarist. Where Scott Ian from Anthrax is great also, but he's a power chord king. Um. Metallica, I always found to be very show, showmanship, I guess it would be. like they, they, Which is probably why they're the most famous one. Yeah, they, <laughs> they, they, yeah, probably. And then Slayer was just dark. Slayer was like all three of them mixed. They just, he just, just heavy, dark. They, you could tell that they uh, tuned lower on the guitar. Like just very dark music. And you just hear it from totally different. When Slayer comes in, it's just way darker than the rest of them. Okay, but are we allowed to point out... That he has a different beard for everyone. Yeah, I was going to say. <laughs> what he, he's got a different look for every band. Which he is really funny. committed to this.
So you could, oh god, they all basically have the same exact sound except for Megadeth. Once again, Megadeth's sound just totally. I was gonna. Is different. I was gonna say. I think I heard a little bit of bass behind the Megadeth play. I don't know if it's something he added. Oh no, that's all added stuff. They yeah, got the yeah. drums, the bass. Tiny bit of bass though, and it was definitely there with Megadeth. But you could see with the Slayer, they got the running riff. You know, they got the running riff with the with all the scale. In Metallica had a scaly riff, and then uh, Anthrax was going down there. So he had a scaly riff, and then Mega that just came in with he was all over the freaking fretboard. <laughs> like there's nothing like Dave Mustaine. You carry King's a great guitarist. Kirk Hammett is a amazing guitarist, but as far as skills, I would say, with my experience, I would say Dave Mustaine would be the most experienced. I would say Kirk Hammett would be the second most experienced. I would say. Kerry King would be the third, and then Scott Ian would be the fourth. Okay, guys. As far argue, as skills. Argue in the comment section below. <laughs> yeah, and if any of those people just heard me... Yeah, yeah. Come to us for an interview. We can talk about it. <laughs> yeah. If you think you're better than Dave Mustaine, come <laughs> interview on our page. Please! <laughs> Sounds like what he's telling us. It feels really good knowing Anthrax has got the time. After you showed me that song, every time it comes on my playlist, I'm freaking blasting it. Yeah, no, it's great. Like these guys all deserve to be the big four. One hundred and ten percent. Like I said, there were all the bands that I would have added to like the big six. Oh, you know what I mean? I was gonna say because when you said it earlier, I was like, does that mean it won't be the big four? <laughs> no, these are the big four, but I would have made a big six. Who's the big six? I would definitely put Overkill in it. I've never oh. even heard of them. And I would put Testament in it. Testament? Okay, there's... Because yeah. every single freaking concert I ever went to, it was always Anthrax, Megadeth, Testament, and Slayer. What Metallica about? never played with any of these guys because they were too big. What area was, uh, era was Suicidal Tendencies? Oh, Big Seven. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I changed your mind. <laughs> you gotta have a Big Seven. Suicidal Tendencies, Overkill, and Testament... And it, yep, 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 yep. Oh, there's so many good bands of that era, man. <laughs>
was shoulder day. Ah. <laughs> wow. Yeah, man, this guy kicked ass. All the bands, you know, he he had them down to the to the to the music, man. It was awesome. I think Megadeth was a little bit underrepresented. Yeah, well, Megadeth is kind of hard to play too, so you don't know if he knew all of it. Uh, you know, like when you play Anthrax, it's like jam jam jam, ka, 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 ka. you know. But then it's like you're all over the freaking fretboard with Megadeth, and it's like, dude, I only know like the mm-hmm. first line, you know. And then all of a sudden, because I know plenty of songs on guitar, like the first like five seconds, and then then I have to stop. Yeah, I just like assuming he dislikes Megadeth, <laughs> but he needed a good video. No, yeah, no, definitely, definitely, definitely. I'd say Megadeth is definitely the most talented of the guitarists. Didn't Megadeth's guitarist come from Metallica? Who yes, 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 hundred percent. Dave Mustaine started in Metallica, and then they kicked him out to the curb because he was an alcoholic. And then he got really good at not he, being an alcoholic. No, he was a drug addict his whole life. He but went, he, he, he went was, to rehab for like heroin, freaking everything. Oh, but he was still really good at guitar. Yeah, he was always good. Mm. But he was a full blown drug addict his whole life. It was only like the past ten years that I think he's uh actually quit. Damn. But he's not dead. True, he's really good at that. Congratulations, Dave. <laughs> Remember to hit that like, subscribe button, and tell us down in the comment section below what songs we should listen to. And press the little bell next subscribe button to get notified every, every time, time we upload a video. I'm Son. And I'm Father. Rock on! Rock on.